Hello friends, we're already here in another episode of our Swiss Family Risbinson RimWorld playthrough. Last episode, Franz nearly got eaten by a war because of a pain stopper. He's gonna live though, I, I believe, I hope, if you only can hike his way on into bed, he'll be just fine. So, uh, man, pain stopper's a double-edged sword for sure. So cool in respect and so unfortunate in other. Dies in four hours. Alright, I believe Jack's the best doctor, is that true? Jack is the best doctor, so Jack, go save your brother's life, please and thank you. Let Fritz clean up the floor. Uh, Fritz will not clean the floor. Fritz, you will clean the not clean the floor at all. All right, need someone else to clean up the floor. I cannot have. I'm all the way on the way. Actually, I can't have the infection there. Uh, chance of being higher than it would want. All right, yeah. Happily, he will live. But given how badly that warg just ripped him up, I'm gonna take Franz. Well, for right now, we can take him off of hand animal handling, sure. Uh, but we need to be absolutely certain that if we set up any more handling jobs against predator animals, Franz does not do it, or we have a team available to help him deal with the consequences of a failed attempt. That was just a little bit too risky, a little bit unhappy there. Gotta be careful. All right, I, I know that uh, Will wants to sleep. I want to go ahead and knock out these two wooden spike traps, though. Uh, because they're a little bit trickier to rebuild than the other ones in that they are... Um, oh! <laughs> I just now realized there's actually no way with these two traps here for someone to safely get over here and build new traps. Huh. Do I feel like taking my colonists' lives in their own hands, letting them consistently walk past these two traps to rebuild these ones? Hmm, <laughs> this seems like it might be a good idea. All right, fall is here. Uh, our growing season is only for another, no matter how much longer here. Uh, give, me the, give me the zone, please, just the one zone. Uh, how about this over here? Uh, until the 6th of April, May. All right, so we're just actually about to enter into uh, our winter here. It's a uh, few months to go, or a few days to go, rather. Yeah, so unfortunately, because the... Oh, that's not, not true. I, I, I lied. So our characters can walk through this direction, go through this door, and build these traps without without harming themselves, without having to go through this section. But will they do so? Are they smart enough to go this way instead of going down and through? We'll find out in the morning here while people are doing some more building. Uh, one colonist, namely Fritz, needs warmer clothes. It's just his uh, flak vest. Alright. I know you want to sleep. Everyone's sleeping right now. Everyone's sleeping right now. All right, in the morning here, I need to get these mortars reloaded. So hold fire on them all. Make sure they do not shoot right away, but mortars need to be ready to go at a moment's notice. So we're able to uh, drop the big bombs in on the enemies. I'll set up there and all mortars ready to go again. Great. So done. Liz, go about your business. I'm curious if I... Uh-oh. A medieval slave called Mason calls nearby, being chased by a whole bundle of pirates. I know my trap's up, so I'm sorry to say I cannot assist you. I'm sorry, Mason. I, uh, hopefully the children not hear our conversation there. Hopefully, hopefully. Uh, I want to see which way Will goes. Uh, get in the wood. I hope he comes down this way. He does. All right, so I, they will prefer direction that does not involve cutting through the trap line, at least in this case. So that's... That's a nice thing, I'll say. Very, very nice thing. Um, fire foam research is great. Great, great. Will help us uh, avoid spontaneous combustion of all of our things being consumed by flame. Let's go now for microelectronics so we can get a, a way of contacting other people and uh, begin opening up possibility of faster research once more. I will remove that floor there. And I think you repair the sandbag from the side, yes? Okay, yes. Does not stand in the trap for that. So these walls done also. And one more trap to do, but looking pretty good again. Now, I would like to think about um, why are our chem fuel filled rockets not being rebuilt quite yet? Someone is not doing the crafting job they should be doing, I do suspect. Who would that be? Now, Liz, it looks like that's the person who's job one crafting for much else. Said you're hauling. Huh. We're not out of steel. We're not out of chem fuel. Why are you hauling first? Like, wait, do I actually have Liz on job one hauling, job two crafting? Uh, Liz is on oh, it's smithing. 
uh, chem fuel, rockets, mortar shells are smithing, not crafting. That would do it. She's doing it now. That's great. That's very great. And other weapons we have here. I wonder if any are better than the weapons we're using right now. So we're using long rifles, sniper rifles, a chain shotgun. Uh, a regular shotgun, not going to use them. Use an SMG instead of that. I should probably put our EMP grenades forward also. Uh, we don't have a little mech house right now. Um, a house at which we throw EMP grenades out. I kind of want to build one right here, I think. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how far away EMP grenades be thrown, and if they throw over deep water. Let's do some live RimWorld science here. Uh, Ernest, when you're done putting that meal down, go ahead and grab a grenade. And we'll see what happens. Uh, you're going to get steel first. Oh, that's good. I do it work. And you come down, we'll... We'll figure out what happens. I believe you can throw over deep water. Seems like a likely thing you'd be able to do. Uh, we need to get uh, cover at least for our grenadier to not uh, get wounded. So come on down. And if you're standing right here, it'd be an interesting little hidey hole to use for throwing. Is it in range? Definitely not. All right, where is the range for EMP grenades? To hit there, we gotta be that far forward. And the word about being that far forward, of course, is that enemies who are outside can shoot in at Ernest then. So we need to build a wall across here as well, across this, well, it's deep water so we can't. Um, only across shallow water could we do that. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. And I think, I think EMPing is gonna be kind of challenging at that spot. Uh, maybe once we dig out this way, which I have talked about doing before, we dig out this a little bit better, put our little EMP shack up this direction instead, and bombard down this way. I think that will be good. So that'll be the next big improvement to the, um, the big improvement to the kill box is getting the uh, northeast corner pulled back somewhat. That is nice. Oh, the issue with the light here is that we have all these roofs from when we had Toxic Fault before. They're making the game a little bit too dark. I'm going to make it a little more attractive in there, get people their, their vitamin D, if possible. We'll see. Uh, the art desk is not made yet because there's no work yet. Uh, we'll, we'll knock that out first thing in the morning. Please and thanks. And hopefully we get at least one harvest of all the vegetables before the winter comes. We have plenty of food. It'll be fine regardless, but I'd like very much to have um, you know vegetables too, to make uh, fine meals especially. Lots of, uh, lots of leather also. Um, I like having this, this pathway midway through the stockpile zone, but given that we have all this leather, we should probably use leather for something. Uh, either for uh, starting to make hats and such to sell, uh, or maybe to... Um, I don't know what to do that. Something with that, though. Right. I need to get a few large sculptures and have basically whatever's fine. We'll do it until we have one of them, so we're able to consistently make one. I believe that they only count large sculptures that are in inventory form, not ones that are deployed for the sake of do you have large sculpture. We'll find out eventually, though. And we need an artist take over. So, Ernest, you are the greatest artist we have. What a tragedy, uh, travesty that is. So you take on the job of art. So I'll start getting the bedrooms up to more impressive, if possible. All right. That's a little hidey hole here. I don't know what we should do with that. It's a spot that uh, became produced by, by the uh, modification to the kill box, but it's our secret space for raider bodies, perhaps. Speaking of raider bodies, now that we have a crematorium, I believe it's time for us to dig up all of the uh, friends we once had and start moving them into the crematorium. Liz has an inspiration. Significant trade price bonus in her next trade deal. I look forward to it. Glad to see she's getting the uh, shells made now. It's definitely great. And... Yeah, everything seems absolutely great right now. Base is in good shape. People are happy. Um, we're talking about maybe making something down here. Perhaps a, a prison so we can get enemies move over faster. Uh, this way also, once we have the graves all removed, will be really quite nice for... Wait, where are you going with that? Uh, they're hauling the gray, uh, hauling the bodies before they then cremate the bodies. In the hauling queue here, you can see that uh, midway down or so is haul corpses, and then two below that is do cremation bills. So there's no spot that stores humanoid corpses. 
uh, then they will go directly to the crematorium, I believe. All right, clean your dirt first, then is that true? Clean your dirt, very well. Yeah, now it's under cremating. It is getting done. I'll mark another line here to remove. I don't want to get too overwhelmed by the, the horror voice digging out, but it's good to get them all burned gradually. Now, up this direction, we put in you know, a hospital, other bedrooms, a hospital and prison together, possibly. Uh, we can dig back a little bit more here also. That we're getting potentially kind of close to a spot in the middle that would have a roof cave in. Let's go and see how wide this thing is. Uh, currently from here across is 16 wide. Huh. That's, that's pretty wide. So it's probably going to make uh, at least one support beam in the middle if we start digging out more behind. And I'll wait till the... Uh, Graves are moved out of the way first, but probably you know, right here, so we'll add a support beam. It'll be fine. Alright, then the other thing I do want to work on is making our wall thicker again. We have tons and tons of limestone. Now, limestone is not the thickest of bricks. It's 540 versus the 595 granite wall, but it's pretty close. So, we'll keep using limestone as we have a scads it on this map. And we'll start by uh, strengthening this wall down here, because it is the one that was sapped through previously. Uh, we need some additional bridges there. We'll mark a few bridge spots right here. And then move this trap forward. Just one. Good. And then we'll do the back wall next. And once again, copy limestone like that. Move each of you forward one. We have to move the outside, outside forward one also. So we install this here. And this one installed forward as well. And this one forward as well as... Well as well, and this one is forward as well as well as well. This wall needs some uh, traps as well, so we'll copy you to there and there and there as we lay out this wall uh, first a little bit of it at least. And then um, potentially I want to leave the mud here just to slow down movement, so we have more opportunity out there to fight a fight. And I do want to put some bunkers out here. Fighting location, you know, possibly even a second kill box would be good. Like, this looks kind of like kill box as it is, but I want to use this space for, I don't know, something valuable. I'm not sure what valuable would be in this case. Well, it would be a valuable way of spending our limited resources of space, but we need to find something to put there eventually. All right. Uh, get rid of one more line of corpse containers. And as I mentioned, put in a limestone wall in the middle just to ensure this all does not come collapsing down. Uh, I actually put two in for right now. Maybe later we'll figure out where exactly they need to be, but we want to be fairly careful we do not have a cave in. And so we want to keep digging this direction. And we can also just remove the roof, right? Like In this case, there's no reason to keep that roof. It's uh, only for toxic fallouts. Yeah, let's do that instead. Remove roof across... Uh, this whole section does not necessarily need a roof. Uh, I kind of like the shadows being cast, but I prefer to see the brightness of the sun. Uh, this spot here is a rock roof already, so it doesn't need to be built, but it's in good shape. All right, that's going to remove the morning aspect. We got our first work of art made. It's on the way. Unfinished. All right, Ernest, what are you going to make, kid? Are you actually a prodigy with your four points in... In uh, art, or are you a mere pretender? We will see. Uh, they moved out the first traps, so now we can move both of these forward also. And we'll dig this spot as well. And same thing on each of the other ones as well. The gradual process of moving out more and more. I figured before too long we'll have a uh, third layer of, of wall in place. But for now, two will be sufficient, I suspect. Do that on also these as well. I think that's all of all of the traps now nicely replaced. Yep, looks good. Looks good, looks good. Have that here all made also. One spot continues to bother me, but that'll be okay. That'll be just fine. Uh, not feeling great about us getting attacked from any position other than the kill box. Will hit a trap. Actually sprung a trap and took some damage from it. He was trying to move it. Instead, he got his body moved. Uh, nicely, no immediate danger. He appears to have basically every part of his body hit, but no part broken off. I think we got kind of lucky there. 
I can't say for sure, but I think we got kind of lucky there that Will himself did not get destroyed by the trap. I do believe. Okay, so... That's definitely a way to lose a Colossus armor leg very, very quickly. And... Uh, move us forward now to here. So I don't know what exactly affects colonists' ability to uh, use traps. Like what causes them to fail occasionally while just reconstructing it in that case. Is that a very good constructor? So he should be okay, I think. But I don't know. I don't know. All right, Jack, you're on the way to take care of Dad. Oh, good job, you. Yeah, he'll be injured for a while here, but get over it before too long. He'll be just fine. Uh, medicine we're doing not super great right now. We need to get some more medicine dug out. Um, a lot of this is ready to harvest, which means Will should be back on growing again as job one. No more constructing, only growing. Also, if Will's problems weren't already significant, now they're even worse. Every male colonist winces in pain due to a medium drone level. And we have exactly no oil helmets, so... No way to make sure Will's okay. Oh, hey, you got out of bed again. That's great. Uh, bruised up, but he can walk. He'll be fine. And now, what are we going to do with Will? Don't you lose your mind. Wow. Intense pain. Psychic drone. Your animal died. And rotting corpses. Wow, wow, wow. Not so good. Another thing we can do to help him out right now is to get ourselves a better bedroom for him. Uh, happily, Ernest made a successful, large sculpture. What a good guy. Called Orange Vomit. A little puerile. Uh, Orange Vomit. All this sculpture is a depiction of a solitary shaman looking destroyed in her township. There's a gourd behind the focal point. That's gourds for all I ever want. Uh, we'll throw that into Will's room so it gets from dull to hopefully slightly impressive at least. And from, or Fritz, can you install this? He can. Uh, normal quality is all I want in this case. Um, and we've deployed here. It now makes the room mediocre. Oh, it is cramped, isn't it? The room is tiny, tiny, tiny. <sighs> yeah, mediocre impressiveness, mediocre wealth, cramped space. It's beautiful, but tiny, tiny, tiny. Um, so the reason why the room is so tiny, tiny, tiny is because in this direction, there be insects. We can expand out this way instead. So we have the little nook room here be much longer, and have a wall here instead of a door, and then let the walls of uh, Will and Liz's room go long also. We'll do that, definitely. I think that's the, the path forward for uh, beauty and goodness in bedrooms presently. Now, we make another one. Unfortunately, this once on the floor is counted towards the bill of making one large sculpture. I change that so it looks only inside of stockpiles. Uh, look only inside of stop of 15. There we go. With that, he'll only make the one uh, when one's not already available. Good, good. Will bruised up is still working hard for his family. Lots of food to get uh, harvested though. Got a big old harvest here. Plenty of animals know where the food's available. We're running a grocery store out there, I do believe. Um, considering a second character help with cooking for a while, just to process all the food. We do have some free space here in the stockpile zone, but uh, not enough to store all that rice, all the potatoes, all that corn, all that cotton, all that, all that everything. And Will's in a daze. Modern psychic drone. Yeah, the drone's gonna be uh, unfortunate here. Uh, might be a good idea to force Will to stand inside of the uh, emitter for a bit to help with mood, but yeah, yeah, drones are drones are fortunate. They'll all come to their senses soon. Man, those rotting corpses, though. Uh, I th we're not gonna see any more rotting corpses, I believe. These are only from the ones that we were uh, cremating before. There are no more rotting people on the floor, are there? There's a rotting squirrel. I don't think that counts. There's only humanoid corpses that came to mind. But we'll see. We'll see. Stream break risk. Franz having a horrible time. <laughs> He's also, unfortunately, uh, psychically sensitive. Yeah, we got to get at least one foil helmet for little old, uh, little old Franz here. It's a negative 31 on moderate psychic drone. I think it's going to be, what, 40 or 50 on high psychic drone? 
going to be a bit of a challenge. He'll, he'll persevere, though, I'm sure. He must persevere, of course, of course. All right. Uh, more secondary wall here gets in place. You do in the corner there. And then uh, here we can do the same thing. Uh, likely do not have enough limestone wall for making all this right now, but a good start anyway. And I should also thicken the doors. We'll thicken this door right there, and no door there. Up this way, though. And over here, and there we go. And the bottom wall needs one as well, and one more spot. All right, it's all laid out. The outer wall is in good position. People are kind of cranky. Extreme break risk happening. Need full helmets, but can't make them. Let's see if we can get some uh, happiness for our people pretty soon in the next episode. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again real, real soon.